going to kick things off tonight with the white BET Fox News. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll check in with Fox News just to see which race slash pronoun slash Eminem I should be scared of now. <laughs> Let me guess, the brown one. <laughs> I was surprised to find something different from Jesse Waters, Fox News anchor, and the last face you see before blacking out at Sigma Kappa. <laughs> Buckle up, guys, those are gonna get worse, okay? <laughs> so look. I turned on the news. I thought he was gonna be talking about what's going on in the world, and all he was doing was meandering through the world's most boring Thanksgiving. And like, not for a little bit of time. He talked about it for like half of his show. So I made a to-do list, best to-do list of my life. I'm actually mad because I crossed everything off on it on my phone, and now I can't see how much I accomplished. I should have had a hard copy, and I should have organized the list geographically based on where I was going instead of just haphazardly because I bit off more than I could chew. I wake up, drank 60 ounces of water, drank my green juice, pot of coffee, hopped in the car with my list in my hand. But I couldn't even make it to the second errand without having to go to the bathroom. <laughs> After going to the water. Stop shop, it! Stop! <laughs> what is, what is this story? Get this out! the way look I mean it is not a slow news week okay <laughs> and you are sitting here talking about an incredible amount of liquid that you just ingested and how you're surprised it made you go to the bathroom <laughs> of water is a, it's a huge amount of water and then you had a green juice and a coffee you're just sloshing around out there like a human waterbed I genuinely I kept watching because I kept thinking it was, it's got to get to a point he's got he has to have something there's so much to say right now he's got to have something to say so in fact we're going to keep this running and we're going to check back in and you're all going to suffer exactly how I suffer but let's move on to something lighthearted, abortion. <laughs> you guys remember how Donald Trump killed Roe v. Wade right after he killed Ruth Bader Ginsburg, I presume? Well now, Trump is making the confusing and strategic decision to run as a moderate on abortion. Yeah, Trump, a moderate on abortion. It's like the Kool-Aid man suddenly caring about walls. <laughs> It's too late, dude, the damage is done, you big red bitch. <laughs> now, don't let anyone tell you that abortion is not popular in this country. Even the man who killed them is acting like he supports them. What happened to Roe v. Wade, folks? Come on, Obama lost them. We're gonna bring back Roe. We're gonna bring back Wade. I talked to both of them. They're on board. I love to make deals. <laughs> won an award for the best Trump impression ever. <laughs> oh my God, it smells terrible. <laughs> All right, before we move on, let's check in with the guy who looks like Roofie Magazine's Man of the Year. <laughs> what news you got for us now, Jesse? So I checked to see what time the car wash closes. It says 5 p.m. I think, great, I'm only 15 minutes away. So I get there at 4.45. But when I get there, there's a big orange cone blocking the lane. I, I'm, I'm so sorry, the car wash closed early on Thanksgiving. How is this news? This isn't even news for your family. Jesse, there's, there's so much to talk about. And let's move on to some climate news. This weekend, the UAE hosts the annual United Nations Climate Conference, where countries from all over the world pretend to care about the climate crisis. <laughs> and look, maybe you think I'm being a little bit cynical but, uh, about this, but apparently the UAE is planning to use the climate conference to make new oil and gas deals. <laughs> Which look, that might sound scandalous, but this is what they've always done. It's like giving hand jobs at Jesus camp. <laughs> it's fun because you know you shouldn't. <laughs> this one's for Jesus. 
speaking of things you shouldn't do, let's see if evil David Schwimmer is <laughs> done yet with the never-ending story. And I'm making fun of him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you kidding? You're getting rice pudding? And the waiter says, uh, sorry, we've sold out of the rice pudding. Rice pudding is popular. Never thought it was. Isn't rice pudding just like rice inside of pudding? Why is he still going? Like, does the bus explode if he ends the story? <laughs> While he explores the mystery that is rice pudding, we'll move on to some business news. Let's talk about Red Lobster, the restaurant, not my vagina. <laughs> Red Lobster had a promotion that got out of control. Again, the restaurant, <laughs> not my vagina. They offered endless shrimp for $20, thinking, surely, people are not gonna eat that much shrimp. And instead, they lost $11 million. <laughs> because they expected people to order something else. But instead, they were like, no, just more shrimp. <laughs> All right, any, anything to drink, anything. No, I'll drink the sauce. <laughs> the moral of the story is, it's fun to eat out. And this time, talking about my vagina. <laughs> For more on endless shrimp fiasco, we turn to Ronnie Chang. this shrimp disaster as jumbo. Uh, absolutely, Michelle. Red Lobster learned a very powerful lesson here. Never underestimate how horny Americans are for shrimp. <laughs> okay, remember the movie Forrest Gump? It was a movie about a mentally challenged war hero whose girlfriend dies of AIDS, but America saw it and said, hey, tell me more about this Bubba Gump shrimp company. <laughs> And now that's a real restaurant. <laughs> that's how much Americans love shrimp. Oh, come on, Ronnie, you gotta give us a break. Is there anything wrong with people enjoying endless shrimp? Yes, there is. Because when this country offers you something endless, it's never actually good. <laughs> it's always endless war, or endless student loans, or endless Jesse Water events. Also, there's endless guns and endless Marvel movies and... Oh, whoa, well, hey, 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 hey. Marvel movies are a national treasure, all right? <laughs> and each and every character in them is precious and should get my own spin-off. <laughs> in theaters, not this streaming-only bullshit. So, good luck to you on that. Uh, but tell me, how does Red Lobster recover from this loss? $11 million is a lot for a restaurant that smells like a whale's asshole. Well, not when you look at the broader economy, Michelle. Uh, yes, Red Lobster takes a short-term loss, but giving Americans endless shrimp helps other industries, like commercial fishermen, toilet plungers, and the company that makes that thing that goes like this, clip! <laughs> If all those companies kick some money back to Red Lobster, then they can keep this promotion going. <laughs> it's called trickle-down crustacean, and it'll help Americans eat endless shrimp forever. Or until the ocean's ecosystem collapses. But, but, but it'll be fine, that's like a year from now, and my Marvel movie should be out by then. Oh, well then I guess we all win. Ronnie Chang, everybody. <laughs> We have to take a break, but first, let's check in one last time with Madden Tussauds' rough draft known as Jesse Waters. And I noticed the dog's all wet. And she's like, oh, this is my dog, you know, kind of kind of wet, you know, he just swam in the pond. And I'm thinking, this is kind of crazy. You're letting your dog swim in a pond 37 degrees in a nature preserve? Well, there you have it. The top primetime news show on the top cable news network in America over 16 minutes in, and we got to wet dog. <laughs> Listen, I don't know why he spent so much time talking about all this. I don't know if he had to vamp because his story he wanted to say got censored, or he had to run errands before and he'd never done that, and he had to let the whole world know about bathrooms and stores and pudding. <laughs> But I will say, this was 16 minutes that I wasn't hearing about January 6th being a field trip. So you know what, Fox News? Keep it up, little buddy. <laughs>